Hi guys and welcome to Paul's DIY and we're going to go straight into this custom. As you can see by the picture I used two shoebox lids to as the starting point for the base for the Batman V Steppenwolf. So I wanted the base to look like a battleground. The way I did this was as you can see on the edges of the lids I cut away the edges made it jagged triangles, squares, rectangles, all different kind of shapes and then using card I created some rock formations and then went over it all with some masking tape. And then once I was happy with the shapes of the rocks I went in with a hell of a lot of filler. I love using filler, it, you can mould it, shape it into any, any form you want. I get a lot of comments saying use this, use this, use this but little tubs of filler is very cheap and it does the job and especially once it's dried even if it cracks especially for this base where I'm going for a, a, a rubble effect the cracks make the made the base look even better and as you can see here I'm spreading the filler around the base with no order to it I'm not trying to get it smooth I'm that just dabbing it in, getting it into all the nooks and crannies with no order. Now with any filler you do have a working time with it, it will go off, it will start to harden so you have to be quite quick and actually me having to work quick so the filler didn't dry actually made the uh, rock formation even better because I was working fastly and like I said you don't want it to look smooth you want it to be all jagged Okay, so at this point uh, I finished off put, uh, pasting the filler onto the base and at this point in the build I was happy with it and I did go on to paint it. Fortunately I didn't record in any of that but I, like I said once I was happy I went on and moved on to the customising the actual figures. So as you can see in the background there, there is a picture of the Prime 1 Studios Justice League Batman and it's not yet been released but they have pictures on the website and I was using that for reference. And here you can see the cape being attached, I did this the same way I do all mine where I use a bit of masking tape on the back to get the shape of the bottom of the coal, cut that out and use that as a diagram. I'm actually using the same material I used on the Batman Noel figurine as well because I had some of that left over. Using the same UHU glue, I glued it on folded it back and glued it into place. So I posted a picture on Instagram of the of the progress on the Steppenwolf figure. I've been in with a dark grey wash as you can see but one of my followers on Instagram pointed out that this figure is quite bland and it's very true it is. So I've been back and watched the Justice League trailer over and over and must have pressed paused a hundred times and there is signs that the 
armor that he's wearing is actually gold. So if I show you at the bottom there, what I've been doing is I have Umbro's enamel metallic gold, as you can see there. And I've got a dry brush here and I've been dipping it in, getting rid of the excess and just dabbing it onto the armour and any places that I paint it on too thick I have a bit of tissue just to dab it off Okay, so as you can see by these photos here, at this point in the custom build I was happy, uh, the base was finished, the custom figures were finished, but it was at this point that I wasn't quite happy with the size of the base, I thought it was too small, so as you can see I've used some polystyrene and I've made the, I made the base uh, larger. did pretty much the same process, only using polystyrene instead of just cardboard, uh, I glued them into place using PVA glue and then masking tapes over it and went ahead with some poly filler which is a bit stronger filler and as you can see I'm using a lollipop stick and I went in and moulded the outer edges of the base so they matched with the inner uh, original size base that way it'll, it blends in better And again, as you can see here with this photo, I've used the polystyrene to build up the outer edges of the base and blend it in with the inner small original size base. That way, that way the cut tins and the uh, rock formations blended with the inner and the outer. And as you can see here, I've mixed some white and grey, sorry, white and black to make grey, and I've gone in with a sponge brush to make sure I can get into all the cracks. And as you can see there with the filler, how it's dried, again using the uh, lollipop stick, gently pressed onto the filler and then quickly pulled away and that gives it the jagged rock formation. And here you can see the finished product of the base once I've blended in the outer edges with the inner original size base, painted and all blended in. And again at this point I thought it was finished, I was ready to post the video but then I thought no, there's one thing missing. Okay yes we're going to make a mother box and here I'm just using the top of my dark grey wash and I'm drawing around it and I'm going to be doing this on all, all of the sides of the cube ready to draw in the design. Ok guys so as you just saw I've attached all these bits of rain form to start for the uh, design of the mother box but by sheer accident or sheer chance I pressed this top onto the form and it's giving me that really good design there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these off repeat that and then cut that out and stick that on and that, this is the same top that I used to actually get the circle but yeah that design is really good so I'm going to go with that and then possibly stick that in the middle Ok guys, so this has been very simple, I've used a pen to push in the uh, divots in the foam to make them more pronounced and then I've used a top 
stuck on one of my acrylic paints and just pressed it into the middle and that is pretty much the design for the mother box I know it's not 100% accurate but I like the design so now I'm going to give it a paint <laughs> 